Hi, my name is Maya, and I am now a, um, what do you call someone who has been admitted into a school? Accepted? Upcoming? I don't know. I'm going to Vancouver Film School for the Animation Concept Art Program. I actually found out a while ago that I got in, and I'm just making this video now because I have some time to sit down, but I, I just wasn't able to find anything about people who got in or how they got in so i would literally search like keywords related to vancouver film school and um like dm i would i dm'd a lot of people and was like hey i'm applying to the school how did you get in so i'm making this for people who are interested in the animation concept art program and don't want to dm a million people yeah, I'll show my portfolio and basically talk about the process and the fact that they literally told me in three days that I got in. So here is that. So starting off with my portfolio, I everyone who is applying to the school will get a advisor who um, you know they can go to for questions. I asked my advisor to look at my portfolio and. Um, let me know, you know, what you thought, feedback. So I spent like a good amount of time getting my portfolio together. Um, I asked her what they would like to see in it because that's not really on their website. Um, but she was very particular when she emailed me. She was like three um, life drawings or three to four, three to four character drawings and then three to four of like, um, I guess my own art. And I'm a graphic design major currently at my school right now. And um, she was like, yeah, no, we kind of don't really need to see any of that. And I was like, cool. I got my portfolio together and I sent it to her. And she was like, I, I thought she was gonna give me some feedback, like, oh, maybe show more of this in your work or blah, blah, blah. But she was like, this is really great. I think you, like, you have a good chance of getting in, which was, which struck me as very, very odd. <laughs> Cause like, I feel like that's just not really something an advisor would say. I don't know, maybe it's just me. But um, that and also I... Okay, so I was really worried because I'm very competitive and I am like, oh, are they just letting anyone in? Like, do I even need to like work hard on my portfolio? But that's not it. Because um, a lot of people do apply and the my class consists of, I think, around 28 people. Um, and this is all, none of this is to sound like bragging. It's all just sort of like data I collected to see what my chances were of getting in. Um, I think the reason she responded the way she did to my uh, to my portfolio was because I think they give her certain things to look for, certain guidelines, and that's what she's basing her answers off of. That was the one weird thing. Besides that, this was the easiest thing I've ever applied to. It was, um, I think it consisted of roughly like six short answer questions. And I think they could be pretty short. I don't think any of mine went past 250 words. I, I was supposed to submit two um, uh, letters of recommendation, but one of my professors was really late to it, so I just submitted the one. Um, the only reason I was okay doing that is because they gave me the option to submit the later, letter later. Literally three days after I submitted, they told me that I was accepted. And I was like, oh, well, okay, cool. <laughs> um, yeah, so it was a great, great process overall. Portfolio. This is what I submitted to VFS for animation concept art. I made a PDF. Um, I don't think it's required. I think it was just the easiest way for me to keep everything together. I would recommend making a PDF of all of your art just because again it's easier. It's easier to work with. I submitted um, some character designs. These are some of my favorite. I um, did it based off of these two Nigerian foods that my family often eats. Um, my sister actually told me to make it. It was just for fun. I put this in here first specifically because, um, again, for the animation concept art program, they're very interested in seeing that um, you're interested in character design. Um, even though you can go different avenues with the program, I'm more interested in focusing on storyboarding for the future. But yeah, I also think that I was pretty successful when it comes to textures and colors here. Again, I don't 
this was for fun. I don't think I was trying to be technical in any way, but I do think they're interesting to look at. Again, I think the potential is there. My second one was this fun little character like walk around. It's super simple and it's a cute little hazelnut character, part of a story I'm in the process of creating. Another character, I guess just to show that I'm interested in character design. So after Malachi, I have this um, sketch, because that's another thing. They didn't necessarily want to see finished works, like it's fine to have sketchy type drawings. I have this fun little um, character that I designed in my animation club. Um, basically what I had everyone do and I participated myself was we went outside and we just picked any object we wanted and made a character based off of it. So yeah, Topple is her name. Imagine her to be British. I think this was also interesting because I included the flower that I used in my sketchbook. So then I included some life drawings. This first one is from my figure drawing class um, that I actually did in freshman year and I'm a senior now so yeah that was a while ago <laughs> but um, I included it because I think it's one of the better things that I've made. It's charcoal based. Next, the other life drawing I included is a self-portrait um, of me. We had to take, this is again for the same figure drawing class, but we had to take pictures of ourselves doing some sort of action or motion. Um, I was doing this, whatever the heck this is. This is actually a pretty technically good um, piece. I included it just because, even though it's not my favorite thing, I don't think it's that interesting. It It's technically very um, accurate and I think the shading is nice. Um, I got a lot of cool shadows from the tree that I was under. Uh, yeah. Then I have this illustration for um, this comic that I wrote. It's kind of ongoing, not really finished at all, but I made a comic and this is the illustration that I did for the cover and I included it because I think it's pretty interesting. Um, and then I included another digital illustration Again, just to show that I know how to like use Photoshop and um, I have a pretty good understanding of color. A fun little piece, a woman in the moon. And that was actually the last thing in my portfolio. So <laughs> you were allowed to include like 12 things, but um, because I am, like I said before, I'm currently a graphic design major at my school. I don't have a lot of illustrations for me to include because my portfolio really consists of like posters, logo designs, and like branding related things. So I included what I thought was the most successful pieces I had and the things that showed basically what I'm capable of doing right now when it comes to illustration and character design. Um, yeah, so you can include more. I included eight, nope, seven. I included seven. If you have 12 really great pieces, which is the max they require, which is also pretty nice. If you have um, 12 really amazing pieces, put them in. But if not, I didn't. <laughs> I was also kind of banking a lot on my grades and my um, resume to show that like I have, like, even though I am not at the skill level I, I would like to be at right now, I can improve immensely and I have a really good work ethic so I can learn and I'll push myself and blah 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 because this program is just one year of like intense working and you kind of get what you put in I guess um and something my advisor said in the beginning was that this isn't the place to like this isn't you know your college experience where you can or this isn't the college experience where you come to find yourself and figure out what you want to do. At this point, you need to already know what you want to do. You need to have a passion for it and need to be someone who's ready to like work for it. And that just sounded like me. I'm like, I've done the whole, what do I want to be thing. Like I've been in college for about four years now. And I think that I am ready to just work on what I'm passionate about. So that's what I'm doing and seem to work because <laughs> um, I got in. So yeah, if 
there's anyone watching this who is also applying or thinking about applying, let me know because that's really cool and I'm really excited to go. I can't wait to be there. Um, I need to apply for a visa because I don't have that yet, but yeah, I'm excited. I think this program's going to be really good for me. <laughs> I really need something super intense, but yeah, um, thanks for watching. Bye.